were um, only a few miles from the bridge. <laughs> the, the clearance of our RV when we're hooked up with the air conditioners and everything is 13 feet 4 inches. If you measured properly. <laughs> if I measured properly. <laughs> the clearance of this bridge and tunnel are 13 feet 6 inches. We just throw three and a half because we're headed south from Dover down to Virginia Beach. So we're going south and so we've already driven three and a half hours just to get to the bridge. Yeah. So if it don't work, <laughs> we're talking like 10 hours to go up and around the deal. But I see, I feel better, a little bit better because I trucks. see all the trucks out here. There's a bunch of 18 wheelers. Yeah. I see some coming from this direction, which means they had to have come yeah, from, from the bridge, the bridge in the other directions. And there's ones going our way. The, the ideal situation I think would be to be like right behind the truck just to watch them <laughs> clear it make just to uh, make me feel a little better <laughs> <laughs> we'll flip you that way so that you can see the Chesapeake Bay Bridge slash tunnel and uh, right along with us as our RV drives to the bottom of the ocean <laughs> it is it does oh. Well, we are in Virginia Beach. We're on Virginia Beach. Yes. And it's beautiful down here. It was beautiful. And um, I think we're gonna get run off by a hurricane. Yeah. Hurricane's supposed to be here in a couple days. It's supposed to actually show up on the day we're supposed to move. Yeah. And we don't want to move in a hurricane. So yeah. we'll probably end up leaving a couple of days early. But at least this is better than a flood yeah. in the middle of the night. Yes. I mean you can kind of track the hurricane coming up. We we are in control of when we leave. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it is going to cost us a little extra money because we're going to have to go inland. Yeah, we'll have to leave here, which is going to—they're not going to reimburse us for the couple of days no. that we're going to leave early, and we'll have to book a spot for a couple of days, which we weren't planning yeah. on doing. Yeah. And about a four-hour drive inland, so there's gas money there. So yep. all in all, it probably cost us a couple hundred, a couple hundred bucks to dodge the hurricane, and it'll cost us a couple of days hanging out in Virginia Beach. Yeah. 
But there's a ton of stuff but to it, do. It, but it's cheaper than having to buy a whole new home. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but we're enjoying our, our time in Virginia Beach while we can. Uh, we'll keep you updated on the hurricane evacuation. And But until then, we're going to have fun. Yeah. All right. It's our very first lighthouse. Yeah. Drove 40 minutes to get out here. <laughs> it's closed. <laughs> Website says it's open. There's no phone number to call. There's contact information where you plug in your information. They're supposed to call you back. I figure we just come out here and because you don't know they're, when they're going to contact they're you. They're open. Back. So um, yeah. Hey, look at that. Two lighthouses. <laughs> this is the original. For the price of <laughs> none. None. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the original lighthouse out here on, on Fort Story. I think you can probably go in that one if things are open also, but not today, Tater. No, not today. Not today. So we'll see the outside of some lighthouses and Fort Story. Yes. <laughs> How cool is this, man? Very cool. I'm very jealous of the people that are stationed <laughs> yeah. on Cape Henry. Their house. Fort Story, really. Yeah, their their houses are right on the I'm beach. The military housing right on the beach, which is That's crazy cool. So torturous for them. Yeah. Jeez. But it's just cool to to look out here and know that this is the first place where America was the, the first American settlers was, came in. Yeah. That's really cool. There also is more history mm -hmm. because there was a Battle of, of the Capes yep. here that took place also, which was um, where General Cornwallis' supply route was cut off. Yes. Which played a big role in his surrender. Yeah. Couldn't get supplies to his troops yeah. from here. So that was cut off. And uh, so all that happened right here. A bunch of history happened right here. Yeah. So it's very cool just to stand here and just imagine what it would look like, like back then. Back in the day. Well, back at the first landing. Yeah. And then back just to see like, like colonial like battleships out so, here fighting yeah. each other to cut off supplies, you know, to the to the British. Yeah. Today we are at the Naval Air Station Oceana. Yes. And they have a bunch of cool aircrafts out here that are on a static display. Mm -hmm. And uh, Stephen D from Foreverland brought us out here. Yep. We had no idea it was out here. We really don't know anything about what's in Virginia no. Beach. So I we, hadn't done enough research yet like I started a file for it but yeah. I hadn't read through what I saved so yeah so but this is really cool um, luckily we're able to get on places like this because yeah. we are ID card holders now if you're not an ID card holder you can probably get on with a visitor pass yeah some bases are still letting people on with a visitor pass um, and some bases are you have to be an ID card holder until this whole Rona thing's over with yeah just depends so you just have to check with your local local base but mm -hmm. if you're in the Virginia Beach area and you can get on the installation. Definitely come check these out yeah. because these are all historical aircrafts from all different kinds of campaigns. And um, just very cool and interesting. And yeah. you can go right up to them. Yeah. You can touch them and take pictures. So we did all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, very fun, very interesting stuff. We didn't talk about any of them, but, uh, but we'll show them to you. They're really cool.
then it was just going to hit Florida, and then it kind of took a hard right, and now it's going up the east coast, and looking on the radar, our little, our little blue dot where we were in Virginia Beach, and the line went right through the blue dot. Yeah. It's not good. Not a good place to be. Like 60, 70 miles an hour winds. That was the original thing. So we said, well, we'll go ahead and bug out inland for a couple days. Yeah. A couple hundred miles inland. So now we're headed inland. So is the storm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But the good news is it's going to hit land way earlier than what it was going to. So by the time it gets to us, it'll be like 40, 45 mile an hour winds. Yeah. So and it's good it's too tolerable. because you never know when it's going to kick back out. And then the area that we were in is kind of low lying. Yeah. It's just the rain that we got being there was very mushy. Yeah, so a lot more rain. I'm not sure what it would have looked like out there. Yeah. Maybe some possible flooding. And you know how well we do with flooding. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, so we're headed. It, it sucks because we're going to have to head. Yeah, it's like a four-hour drive today to yeah. head inland. And then two days from now. Do it again. I got to the coast. Because <laughs> Tuesday is really the day that the storm's supposed to pass through. And once it once it clears Florida, it's supposed to just roll right through. So we may have to even leave a little bit later on Tuesday, Tuesday than what we yeah, normally would. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I think checkout's like 11 or something. Yeah. So <laughs> by that time, we should be good. And then we'll head back out to the coast. Um, the one major bummer was that um, we were going to make a donation to a veteran organization in Virginia yeah. Beach. And now we're not going to be able to do that. No. We were going to see them on Wednesday, the day after we got there, and the uh, founder yeah, the founder of the organization had an emergency that he had to go leave for, so they wanted to do it with us the following Monday, which we were totally cool with, yeah. but now the hurricane, so we had to bug out from the hurricane, so we're not going not gonna to be able to make no. that donation, which really stinks, and we really haven't done a lot of research because we had our two organizations that we were going to split those yeah. funds between. And so now it looks like we're probably just end up giving a big check to the one down in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a little bummer for the first organization. A little bit of bonus for the second organization. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, true. But if we ever pass back through this area, at least we know of an organization now that we can stop so, and make yeah, a donation to. Exactly. Because we've already done the research, we've already talked to them. And yeah. uh, so it sucks, but hey, it's all part of the deal. So now we've been evacuated by flood. By ice, <laughs> by tornadoes, <laughs> and now by hurricanes. <laughs> We're headed back to a familiar campground. Yeah, and I like this campground. <laughs> yeah, good Wi-Fi, clean, very pretty, high ground, yeah. graveled really well. So the weather is not going to really be a factor. No, uh, but I, I'm for foreseeing that we're still going to catch a pretty good amount of uh, weather. Yeah, we're going to get some heavy rain and wind. Yeah. And the other good news is we know of a good restaurant in the area already because yes. we've been there. I'm already like <laughs> drooling for it. It's Monday. <laughs> You're perky for Monday. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to pump myself up because yesterday was travel day. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be travel day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so really, I only got one day in between travel day. So yeah. I'm trying to stay positive. Mm -hmm. And then the storm's coming tonight. Yes. We should start seeing weather sometime in the next couple of hours. It's like yes. 11 o'clock in the morning now, but mm -hmm. we should start seeing weather just a little bit here and there from the hurricane. Yeah. And then the biggest part's coming through like middle of the night. Yes. So that'll be good. Travel day. Um, no sleep because of the storm. Travel day. <laughs> Yeah. Good times. The travel day sandwich. And then, um, so we tra so we traveled on Sunday. Yeah. Hanging out here Monday for the hurricane. Mm -hmm. We travel on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And then on Wednesday, we're going to make a donation. Yeah. And it's one hour. Away. Away. So it's an hour <laughs> out and an hour back. So we're just like driving, 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 driving. Yeah. But it's cool. It'll be worth it. Yeah. And uh, so before we start getting the weather today, we're going to go into town and resupply a little bit. Yeah. Fuel up. Be able to try it. Yep. Go to Walmart. Mm -hmm. All that good stuff. But before the sky opens. Yeah, and we are at um, Jones Station RV Park. It's the same RV park we stayed at when we made the donation to Vets to Vets United. Yes. 
and we were like right there is where our last spot was we're yeah. like right across the row yeah. from our last spot we're staring at it <laughs> um but it's a great rv park yes I and love this um place. we're not really doing anything around here but it's just a nice place yeah to stay let's let's get some some scout footage scout footage he loves when you want to put it he <laughs> loves loves it i see the excitement on his face right now actually yeah he's eyeballing you because he knows what a camera is. Oh, yeah. He knows. Even though I, I turned, I disabled the beeps. Yeah. So he the, doesn't the... know it's turned on. Yeah, because normally you hit the, and you go, bling. Yeah. And he's like. <laughs> when I turn it off, but he can still see when, I'm holding, it. when I'm holding the camera, he's like, mm, what are you doing with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, he's getting restless. <laughs> Let's go see him. Nope. Nope. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I mean, you can see it in the background back there, but right there was the spot we stayed at last time. So Scout's looking out over the RV park. Letting everybody know he's in charge of this place. <laughs> Turning away from the camera. Uh -huh. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. <laughs> he's gonna rotate his whole head. <laughs> All right, buddy. We're going into town. You be good. So, even though our time in Virginia Beach got cut short, it was still fun. Yeah. It was still cool. What do you like the most? Um, well, I like being by the beach. Yeah. I miss the beach. Yeah, we didn't actually get to go, like, hang out on the beach, like beach day. Yeah, no, like, yeah, no, we didn't plop ourselves in the sand and chill. No. The day we we were planning on going. They said it was supposed to rain in the afternoon. Yeah. It never, it never did. did. So we actually could have went to the beach. Yeah. But we didn't. We made it through the tunnel. Yeah. We made it through the storm. <laughs> We're headed back to the coast. We'll bring you with us. Uh, I know that, that that this is coming out way after the storm is already gone. Oh, yeah. yeah. But if you want to see us closer to real time, follow us over on Facebook or Instagram. If you want even closer to real time, follow us over on Patreon. Mm -hmm. All those links are in the description below. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.